Okay, let's see what I have to work with here. I'm gonna have to move my wife's bike up, my Grom back, my Harley up, and I can uh, show y'all something cool. I have to go through this every time I wanna take a different bike out. Is a rear luggage storage rack for Moto for the Honda Grom, and it's supposed to be compatible to, with the uh, 2022 2023 model of the Honda Grom. Got this from Amazon and only got here, only took a couple of days to get in. Sorry about the traffic. Let's see what the box says here. Moto compatible with Grom 2022-2023 or rear rack luggage storage rack carrier and it just puts a whole lot of words one right after the other it's made in China okay here's the rack I'll show it to you here in a minute it also comes with instructions Parts list, and you know what? I might take a picture of this and flash it up. It's supposed to tie into this, and where's the other one? That one here, and one here, and same on this side. Those are uh, those caps are supposed to pop out, and I believe they're tapped. Hopefully, they're tapped. Uh, so I just bring you back. There's not really a whole lot to it. Package bolts. Here's one of them. I don't know if it's steel or aluminum. It's pretty, pretty thick. Pretty good quality, it seems like. So we got here. Same for the other side. So here's the uh, Komodo rack. It's supposed to go on just like this. All right. So this goes on the inside there, and bolts to these taps right here and same on both sides I'll put the bracket together and uh, bring y'all back bring it down here no idea my camera skills guys who follow the channel know leave a lot to be desired but basically I'm taking off this cap and that cap right there and they look like that they just pop off with the screwdriver or you can do it with your fingers i guess all right you do not need the screwdriver and these are threaded in here so you're going to need 13 millimeter box end wrench and a six millimeter allen okay very simple i won't go through all of it but you're going to need the smaller bolt lock washer washer, lock nut, goes through, like that, put that on there like that, hand tight, don't tighten it yet, all right, we're going to see how it fits first, I'm going to do that four times, twice on each side, okay, once you have the bracket put together, take two bolts, and two of the sleeves, Pretty much what it's going to look like. I don't know why there ain't, aren't any washers on this side. Doesn't the instructions don't call for it? But, well, they still seem to be going in. Not necessarily the rack's fault. I've had to retap these from Honda before. Wait, let me see if it goes in on this side. It does. This one's going in by hand. This one's going in by hand as well. Uh, I don't know if you can see this or not, to tell the truth. My hand will certainly be in the way, but there's 
a recess right there. Maybe from here. So there's a recess right here. And that's what these sleeves fit into like that. All right, this one's going in now. I think my theory is more paint ran into these holes, maybe because of how the bike is leaned. Yeah, I don't know. Get that paint out of there for the last time. I'll show you how I fix this. I just basically, I got it in there. And I just started going back and forth like that. And I put some WD-40 on it. And that's my wife pulling in. And finally, it's going. All right, just to let you know, it's possible. All right, folks, let me show you what I've done here. And here's the Kimimoto rear rack for the 2022 Honda Grom in 2023. And mine's a 2023. It was perfect. The only problem I had was with the Grom itself, and that was a Honda quality issue. And I have a whole lot of film of me cursing, and uh, I'll probably delete that. What happened was they got paint in here, so I could not get this bolt in, and I had to work it in and out. And that was a pain, and I won't show it to you. But what should have been a 15 minute job turned into about an hour for me to get that fixed. Let me show you some more features of the Kimimoto luggage rack for the 2022-2023 uh, Grom. Is I have a couple of places right here and on the other side, right here and here, where I can mount rock straps, which I do have some. And also this right here is supposed to except a uh, one of the scoop fittings for a uh, rotopax if you wanted to have uh, bring along some extra fuel and then you have some other little bolt holes here that'll be for whatever you want i guess okay guys time to show you it in action just just a regular overnight bag and uh we're gonna go somewhere overnight i don't want to really call this moto camping because i'm not i'm actually we are camping I'm not bringing my gear though. I think to me, in order for, to call it standard moto camping, you should have to bring your gear. But anyway, just wanted to show you the rack in action. It goes like this. Rock strap comes around to the side. A little snap on. Just like that. Okay, let's get on the road. We are coming into Cedar Break Road. Well, we're on Cedar Break Road. We're coming into Cedar Break Park. Thought I'd give you all a little shot of it. Wall notes behind me. We are definitely the coolest ones at the campground. There's a shortcut right there that goes to the water and that's where the girls went. That's where I'm staying tonight. <laughs> 